Welcome back everyone to another video. My name is Fabio and today we're back in Sketchbook and we're going to be looking at one of my favorite tools to use in the program. It's called the Symmetry Tool and it's great for making patterns, faces, character turnarounds. So it's a lot of fun to use. Let's dive into it and let's get started. Awesome. So we're in Sketchbook. We can find our Symmetry Tool up here in the toolbar. Let's click this dotted line. If you hover your mouse over it, it will say symmetry. Click it, and if you notice, another toolbar pops up. So let's explore some of the options here in this pop-up toolbar. So the vertical line, if we draw on one side, it mirrors on the opposite side. So it also it doesn't matter what layer I'm on, the symmetry affects all the layers. If we press this horizontal line, now we are mirroring horizontally. We can press both of them together, and now we have four boxes, right? So this is when we can make some very cool uh, designs. If we press this one, radial symmetry, let's click it. And now our points are coming from a center point right here. So this just separates our page into a bunch of different sections. So right now it says we have 12 and I can make some very cool detailed designs this way. And you can customize this by setting the amount with this slider, the amount of lines up to 16 or like two. Right, so play around with it. You can really get some nice, fun designs. Yeah, I can honestly play around like this all day. But anyways, let's move on. So if you want to move the symmetry line around, you got to press this little dot here in the middle, and then I can move it anywhere I want. Right, that's helpful, but it's also kind of annoying, right? So. What I recommend is taking this dot and sliding it either all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom. This way, when I draw, I don't accidentally press it and move my symmetry and get messed up that way. But another thing you can do, if you don't want to do that, is press this lock button. Once this button is pressed, I cannot move my symmetry line anymore. Finally, we have this little extend stop strokes button. So if we click it, my strokes stop at the line of symmetry, right? If we press both, they stop. I cannot draw through, right? So you can get some cool effects that way, or you can just have them extend through the line if we press it again, right? So play around with all these features and you can get a lot of very cool designs. This is how I like to use symmetry in my work. Obviously, it's good to draw faces, but what I also like to do is use it when I'm doing a character turnaround, and I'll show you how it can save you a lot of time next. So here's the character turnaround I had to do for a client. For this project, I needed to do like 10 different character turnarounds, and all the characters were pretty detailed, so I needed to find a way to speed up my process to get things done. So this is where symmetry came in handy. Let me knock down this opacity to show you what I did. So I press my symmetry tool, my vertical symmetry tool. We can lock it. And now what I did was when I was painting my characters, I only needed to draw half of them, right? So the ears, the, the head, right? The eyes and the nose. Usually these things are actually really hard to get right and especially to make them the same on both sides, right? When you're doing a character turnaround for animation, accuracy is everything. So this way, I don't even need to worry about that. Right, so that's like for the front view, I only had to draw half of the front view and it was very accurate on the other side. I knew it was gonna be the exact same. Now, what really saved me time was for these other poses. So normally, I would have had to draw front three quarter, side view, back view, would have had to do it twice, you know, but this way, I only needed to draw it once, and then on the other side, the symmetry drew it for me.
right? So I don't even have to go in and flip my drawings. It's kind of like I'm drawing two things at once, right? And this saved me a lot of time when I was doing these character turnarounds. And then I would do the same thing for the side view and the back view. That's all I have for the symmetry tool, guys. Hopefully you can use it to help speed up your workflow or just, you know, make some fun designs. So go experiment, have some fun, right? That's what this is all about. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you everyone for watching. I really, really appreciate the support. If you guys want, you can find some other videos you might like over here. But that's it for now, so happy animating, and I'll see everybody in the next video.